National Liquid Blasting, NLB Corporation, a world leader in the design and manufacture of high-pressure water jetting equipment and accessories, rated for pressures up to 20,000 PSI, serving contractors and industry. Along with a tradition of producing specialized automated industrial systems, NLB has led the water jetting industry by advancing the state of the art for water blasting contractors. A thorough understanding of contractors' needs guides NLB in the development of new pump technology and better, more efficient accessories. And NLB's applications knowledge benefits new contractors just getting started by giving them the benefit of years of experience in helping contractors succeed. Years ago, before modern advancements in high-pressure water jetting technology, cutting a railroad tie was one of the most awesome displays of water power. While this is still an impressive sight, today with technology advancements in areas such as pump design and nozzle quality, we are now able to cut concrete and steel with high-pressure water jets. This has led to the development of highly specialized systems, like the NLB Concrete Buster, for hydro demolition of concrete on bridges, highways, and parking structures. Before exploring the numerous applications for high-pressure water blast contractors, it first is important to review the components on a standard water blasting unit, the operator's safety gear, and correct startup procedure. The typical NLB contractor water blast unit is mounted on a heavy-duty DOT-approved trailer with running lights and brakes. As standard equipment, unit features include diesel engine power, V-belt drive, water suction tank, and the NLB high-pressure pump. The heart of the water blast system is the high-pressure pump. NLB triplex three-plunger and quintuplex five-plunger pumps are built to meet the rugged demands of 24-hour-a-day operation. The three-piece fluid cylinder design offers speed and simplicity in maintenance procedures. Other system features include an oil-filled pressure gauge with snubber. The snubber absorbs hydraulic shocks, allows more accurate pressure readings, and gives longer operating life to the gauge. The automatic lubricator force feeds oil to the plunger, packing, and stuffing box area of the pump. The discharge piping includes the high pressure discharge connection, the safety rupture disc designed to relieve 100% of operating pressure, and the pressure relief bypass valve. This valve is used for setting operating pressure and bypassing unused water flow. Most contractor pump units are powered by diesel engines with V-belt drive or optional transmission or gear pack drives. Engine controls include oil, water, tack, and hour meters. NLB units also include the adjustable pressure-operated throttle control, which automatically controls engine speed to a preset level when using a dump-type lance or foot control. For any water blast operation, complete operator safety gear is strongly recommended, including high-waisted rubber pants and aluminum foot guards over steel-toed rubber boots. This protects the toes and instep from the water jet and flying debris. A high-neck rubber jacket covers the operator's upper body and arms. The rubber suit helps keep the operator dry as well as protected from debris. Operators should also wear goggles or approved safety glasses under a hard hat with a full face covering shield. Rubber gloves complete the operator's protective suit. Additionally, hearing protection is also required. Either the earmuff style or foam earplugs are sufficient protection. In the startup of a high pressure water blast unit, the same procedure should be followed before each operation. First, the pump operator should inspect and clean the filter on the water inlet side of the suction tank. The filter and bowl should be removed. The screen inspected for damage, rinsed if necessary, and replaced. Dirty water is the worst enemy to a high-pressure pump. This fast and simple inspection may prevent premature pump wear. Next, the water inlet hose may be connected through the water inlet filter to the suction surge tank. This tank, with an automatic float control valve, provides an ideal water suction condition for the high-pressure pump. Once the filter is inspected and the inlet water line connected, the engine may be started. After the engine is up to idle speed, the pump operator should engage the power takeoff long enough to flush out the discharge piping to remove any small foreign particles. Now, the high-pressure hose may be connected to the quick coupler on the discharge piping on the pump. 
By engaging the PTO once again, the pump operator flushes the high-pressure discharge hose, like the piping, to make sure it is free of foreign matter. Next, with all lines connected and flushed, the high-pressure cleaning lance or other accessory may be coupled to the high-pressure discharge hose coming off the pump. Now that the system is set up and ready, the pump operator can set operating pressure. First, the PTO is engaged, putting the engine in gear. Next, the throttle control is adjusted to set the desired engine speed and the locking nut tightened. Once done, the engine speed will always return to this level when coming out of an idle or dump mode. Next, the adjusting nut on the bypass relief valve is turned clockwise to set the desired operating pressure as indicated on the pressure gauge. Once pressure is set, the locking nut is tightened to hold the setting. The bypass relief valve should always be reset when nozzle size is changed, as the valve is also used to bypass water flow in the system. Now the system is checked out, the pressure is set, and the high pressure lance is ready to go to work. For applications where more than one operator is desired, the NLB MGV 850 multi-gun valve allows two, three, or four lances to work simultaneously from the same pumping unit. Multiple operators offer greater efficiency, productivity, and profitability for water blast contractors. The number and diversity of water jetting applications for contractors are virtually limitless. Applications span all industries and of critical importance in a changing economy, water jetting can save a plant hundreds of thousands of dollars in maintenance costs, eliminating chemical cleaning and many hazardous waste removal problems. Chemical plants alone make up one of the largest environments for high-pressure water jet cleaning. Vessels like this, used in the production of various products, become fouled or blocked internally and externally, requiring high-pressure cleaning for fast turnaround to minimize plant downtime. Exterior cleaning is made easy with the patented NLB spin nozzle self-rotating lance head. The spin nozzle high-speed rotation combined with 10 gallons per minute at 10,000 PSI creates a powerful impact force on the cleaning surface. Product buildup is quickly blasted away. Heat exchangers in chemical, refining, and other processing plants are just one of many common cleaning applications for high-pressure water. Before cleaning the individual tube interiors, the face of the tube bundle is blasted clean. The NLB spin nozzle makes quick work of removing product buildup from the end of the heat exchanger. 10,000 PSI is usually enough pressure, but occasionally as much as 20,000 PSI is required for removal of particularly tenacious materials. Heat exchanger tube interiors, the tube IDs, are cleaned using a rigid lance and special tube cleaning nozzle. The nozzle has a forward orifice and multiple orifices at 45 and 90 degree angles to back flush product buildup. Nozzles are custom drilled for various pressure and volume combinations. The operator guides the lance through the tube until the nozzle exits the other end. Water pressure is controlled by use of a foot control valve which allows both hands to be free to manipulate the lance.